God had every right and would be perfectly just to eternally condemn this proud, wicked, pagan king. Nebuchadnezzar was an idolater. He was an idolater that would mercilessly kill anyone who was not on board with his idolatry. We saw that last week, didn't we? He was an angry, self-centered, self-exalting man. But God so loved Nebuchadnezzar. Just like God so loved us. Not because of our sin, but in spite of our sin. God so loved the world. And that included Nebuchadnezzar. That includes you. I think we find a great uh, message of hope in this. Whether it's seven years, whether it's seven months, whether it's 20 years, whether it's 30 years, God knows how much time is needed to bring His work to completion. We get impatient with that, don't we? We want to see it happen now. We want to see it happen overnight. God knows the perfect amount of time. He knew just exactly what was needed to finally bring Nebuchadnezzar to his knees, to completely empty himself of himself, to come to his senses, and to look to heaven and to believe in the God of of Israel. Wait upon the Lord to do his perfect work. Don't stop praying. Don't stop trusting. Don't stop believing in a God who does all things well perfectly completely well don't give up on the work god's doing in your life and don't give up in the work that god's doing in the lives of others i find that very encouraging i hope you do as well